April 7th. Why are we not told plainly? He then charged them that they should tell no man what things they had seen, till the Son of Man were risen from the dead. Mark 9.9 9. Say nothing until the Son of Man is risen in you, until the life of the risen Christ so dominates you that when you understand what the historic Christ taught, <sighs> say nothing until the Son of Man is risen in you, until the life of the risen Christ so dominates you that you understand what the historic Christ taught. When you get to the right state on the inside, the word which Jesus has spoken is so plain that you were amazed you did not see it before. You could not understand it before. You were not in the place and disposition where it could be born. Our Lord does not hide these things. They are unbearable until we get into a fit condition of spiritual life. I have yet so many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. There must be communion with his risen life before a particular word can be borne by us. Do we know anything about the impartation of the risen life of Christ? The evidence that we do is that his word is becoming interpretable to us. God cannot reveal anything to us if we have not his spirit. An obstinate outlook will effectually hinder God from revealing anything to us. If we have made up our minds about a doctrine, the light of God will come no more to us on that line. We cannot get it. This obtuse stage will end immediately when his resurrection life has its way with us. Tell no man. So many do tell what they saw on the Mount of Transfiguration. They have had the vision and they testify to it, but the life does not tally with it. The Son of Man is not yet risen in them. I wonder when he is going to be formed in you and in me.